Hi, I'm Miss Larson with Always Making Art. This lesson is for my pre-K group and they're starting with a little piece of clay that's ready for them. If you want to do this at home, you can use air dry clay or uh, bottle magic would probably work too. And I'll show you how to do a slab to get that started. If you're working with air dry clay or regular clay, you want to roll out a slab. And if you don't know how to do that, it's um, just if you're doing it at home with one child just get a small piece of clay and you can either use your fist or have them use their fist to bang it out like this i like to work on a little piece of fabric so that it doesn't get stuck you could also use a rolling pin once yours is large enough to fit your cookie cutter then you're just going to press it down so that's all it is it's really simple you just want it to be thin not too thin so that's breakable i tell the kids uh, about the size of a cookie when they're doing their own and then we're just using these skewers you could use a pencil to do a little hole for the top of the ornament and the first part is really simple you just need to press in three times and for the kids with their little fingers i had them use their thumb and then a smaller finger and then we use the skewer or pencil on the side to press in a little spot for the carrot nose. And that's all it is for the first part. And then I fired these through the kiln um, and then they're coming back a second day for glazing. If you're using air dry clay, you probably wanna go ahead and let it dry first and then after it's dried, go ahead and paint it with your acrylic paint instead of the glaze like I'm using. To glaze our ornaments, we are gonna use a beautiful blue glaze with speckles on it. So maybe it looks a little bit like it's snowing. And we're gonna use some white on the snowman. So first, we're gonna start with the big brush in the blue, and it's gonna look more blue than this. And you're just gonna go ahead and brush with your big brush all the way over. And it's okay if you get in your um, snowman you could hold it if you want to. And we're gonna do two coats. That means that we're gonna paint it twice. Okay, now that I've got it painted twice, we're gonna take our thumbs, just like we used our, we used a thumb, sometimes we use the little fingers for the top, and we're gonna use the white, and put your thumb in the white glaze and press down. If your other ones are smaller, you can use the other finger. Press down. Press down. If, maybe if you didn't have enough, you can get a little bit more for right there. Okay, so now that you're done with this and you have two dirty fingers, you're gonna fingers, I'm gonna scrape some of that off on here. But you can go wash your hands. Okay, if you have room, you can paint a little scarf. And if you're gonna paint a scarf, you wanna wait for the glaze to dry. If you can see on here, I can see that this part is dry because it's kind of white and chalky, and this part is still wet. See how it, it looks glossy? So you kinda wanna wait for it to dry, which it doesn't take very long. And then if you wanna paint a scarf, a scarf goes between the very top one, that's the head, and the middle body. And if there's a spot on yours like mine, you can go straight across it and then out. And if you want to do another one going down, you could do one going down. Okay, so that's my little scarf. Now if you've gotten all done to this point, then you can bring it over by me and we'll do the nose together. So we're going to take the skewer that we use to press our nose and dip it in our orange glaze and turn our ornament so that it lines up and we're gonna press the orange in the glaze, just like that. You can see my body is still wet, so I'm gonna wait a little bit for the body to dry before I do my buttons. The body is taking quite a bit longer to dry because it was so thick from just pressing it in, so I'm gonna go ahead and try but I'm gonna stick the bottom of the skewer into the black and I'm just gonna go straight down and up. I'm just gonna do two buttons. And you know what, I think, um, so my nose is going off to the side, which to me that makes it look like my snowman is looking over to the side. 
So I'm just going to use the skinny side and give him one eye. Let's see. And I'll, I'll give him a little bit of a mouth. <laughs> I wanted to do some little arms. I'll just dip it in the black and do the arm sticking out like that. Could be tricky doing the arms without getting it into a big blob. So if you want to not do arms, that's fine. And now that they are done, they'll just have to go back in the kiln one more time and then they'll come out all shiny and pretty.